<laughs> Welcome everyone to a, a special edition of uh, Preaching to the Choir Ministries. Uh, as you know, this ministry deals with the falling away of the last days. The Bible says that in uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4, 1, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And uh, the Bible also says that the church age will end in apostasy. This is found in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. And today is a very, very, very special edition of our Preaching to the Choir Ministries. Today is the, the day of the great debate. We're going to be debating um, whether or not um, God exists or not. And today here on, 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 on uh, Preaching to the Choir Ministries and on his show, I give you uh, the Green Knight. Howdy. Green Knight. How are Thank you, doing? you sir. I'm doing well. Good Thank you for coming today. Well, thanks. This is fun. So, uh, could you tell the uh, the people out there a little bit about yourself, please? Um, other than I don't believe in God, there's nothing really to say. I mean, without getting personal, I don't really want to get personal. Okay. I don't need to go into the background or anything like that. Okay. Um, I just don't believe that your God exists. So, let's talk about that. That's pretty cut and dry. And as you guys know, um, I'm all about Jesus. That's all you need to know. Let's get to this. Okay. Okay. So I believe that God exists. I believe that God created. Oh, I'm sorry. Before we um, go any further, guys, so this is not going to be your uh, your typical debate where you know I make a statement and then he makes a statement and stuff like that and whatnot. This is going to be like a very casual type thing today. Yeah. Just a conversation. Yeah. This is a very con conversational thing today. All right, and you guys are gonna notice something here that if I don't know the answer to something, I have a friend here that might uh, interject a little bit, and he has a friend here too. Uh, you might know him uh, on the internet as uh, Satan's pen pal, and he'll be uh, answering some things if he's needed uh, by uh, the Green Knight here. Uh, but like I was, you know, uh, saying or about to say, uh, I believe that God created the, uh, the heavens and the earth. I believe that God sent His only begotten Son to this world to die for our sins. I believe that. Um, that the atheists are actually wrong when they say that um, that we came here a different way. I believe that, that, that God is real. I believe that we're made in His image. I how how do the atheists say we came here? Uh, they said that we got here through the Big Bang. That's how we got here? First through the Big Bang uh -huh. and, th and then through uh, evolution. Okay. I know there's like other stuff like natural selection and all that stuff and whatnot, but I'm not all that like, informed about that. Okay. You know? So Big Bang and evolution, that's how we got here? Yes. Um, I don't know. Okay. Those are two completely different things, and none of them have anything to do with how life arose on this planet. Okay. Right. Uh, the Big Bang is cosmology. Evolution is the diversity of life. Right. They, neither one of them try to explain how life started. Um, God, your God explains it by saying, well, how, how, do, how do you explain it? How do I explain it? When how life started. started. Well, God said and God it happened. Said. God said in the beat. No, I'm sorry. He said, "Let there be light, and light happened. Light okay. came about." God said, "Let let uh, let there be um, a beast of the field. Let there be birds of the air." He said, "Let there um, be the fish of the sea." So he's spoken it into existence. Yes. yes. Uh, magic. 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 No, 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 not magic. What's magic? It's by his power. Pardon me, guys, yes. for the purpose of video. Can I get more volume out of you two? Okay. Uh, you want me to say it again? <coughs> No, just carry on. I want to talk about your God. I don't want to talk about the Bible or creation or, or that stuff. I want to talk about the God that you believe exists. Yes. Right? So God, I, said, I believe I said, that exists, God. spoke everything into creation. Right. He did it in six literal days. Right. I, I want to talk about him, not what right. he did. Right. Okay. So I sent you an email outlining, uh, and you agreed, of the attributes of God. Right. Uh, all powerful, all knowing, all loving, perfectly just. Uh, all merciful, all of these things. Well, that I don't God know is. about all loving, but loving. You don't know about all loving? Uh, I wouldn't describe him as all loving. Now, that wouldn't be a good description of him, right? No, he's loving. He loves He mm -hmm. loves his creation. He loves what he created. All right, so scratch yeah. that. Yeah. Um, he knows everything. He knows everything. He knows everything. He knows yes. everything. He knows the best possible outcome. He knows he knows, he knows what's going every on here, life. he knows what's going on over there, he knows what's going on over there, he knows what's going on in Mexico, okay. he knows what's going on everywhere. Yes. Alright, so he knows everything that I'm going to do, every decision that I make, he already knows what I'm going to choose. How does that scripture go, Kendall? Those he, how does that scripture go? Those he predestined, those, 
Oh, those he foreknew, he also did predestinate mm -hmm. to be conformed to the image of his son, that he may be the firstborn amongst many brethren. And he's also the first and the last. Okay. You know what I mean? The beginning and the end. So so my question is about time. what he knows. Does he know everything? Yes, he does. Does he know what I'm going to choose? Does he know my choices before I make them? Yes. Can I choose something that he knows I will not choose? No. Say that again? If I'm faced with two choices, right. he knows which one I'm going to pick. If he knows I'm going to pick option A, am I able to pick option B? Yes, yes, because of free will. Yes. But then he'd be wrong. No, he wouldn't. His he knowledge would have been flawed. He knew I was going to pick A. He knew I was not going to pick B. Okay, but just because he knew you was going to pick A doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that you still don't have the option to pick B. That's a deceptive question you're asking. The question you're asking is, okay, did God know you was going to pick A? God knew. Everybody else didn't know. That's fine. All right? You don't know if you're going to pick B or, right. or, 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 or if you're going to pick A or whatnot. Yeah, that's fine. But the point of the matter is, in time and space, you still have the option to pick B. Do just I? Because he know, just because he knows what you're going to pick doesn't necessarily mean that, that, that he's flawed. If he knows I this will not pick option B, he mm -hmm. knows that I won't do that. Right. You're saying that I still can do, I'm able to do that. And if I do that, he'll you be still wrong. Can. And, and you still so can. So I can prove God wrong. But no, 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 no. Listen to the question that you're asking me. Listen to the question you're asking me. You're saying that God knew, God, an infinite God who lives in uh -huh. you know eternity and whatnot, okay. that he knows that you're going to pick option A. Yeah. However, you living in time and space have an option and have, have an option between A and B. Yeah. Okay. You can still pick B just because God knows what the outcome is going to be has nothing to do I with can, them. You're saying I could do something God knew I would not do. His knowledge is, is, oh, I don't understand. Yes, yes. That's what you're saying. So yes, he's not yes. all-knowing. Yes, he is. So knowing. What does that got to do with him being all-knowing? He already knew you was going to pick A. Right. Okay. You just said I'm, okay. I can pick A. But you B can still choose A or B. But obviously you're going to pick A if he knew that. And I don't know that. These people out here didn't know that. But, but the point knew. of the matter is you still can pick on B. Until it happens, you can still pick B. So do you see how we're talking around the circle? No, we're not talking around the circle. I'm just answering your question. Um, My I, God is all-knowing. He knows. He knows what's going to happen this year. He knows what's going to happen next year. And he can give you, and he, not me, he can give you details about what's going to happen. Uh-huh. And he can tell me what's not going to happen. Exactly. Is that able to happen? The things that he tells me are not going to happen. Is it possible that those things actually happen? Could you translate to me what you just said? If he said something will not happen, can that thing happen? If he said that these things cannot happen? Yep. Okay, you're saying... <laughs> Okay. Yes, well, they can still happen. They yes, they can. Then, then God can be wrong. So he's not all known. No, no. That's that's another tricky question. That's another question designed to trip somebody it's up. It's a simple question. Uh, no, is that's, he a, all that's a yes question no? designed yes, to trip somebody up. That's a question designed to trip somebody up. Okay. Is he perfectly just? Yes, he is. Perfect justice every time. Yes. According to his will and then, according then to the way he wants things done. How is he all merciful? How is he all merciful? Uh -huh. God will have mercy on whom he will on whom he wants to but have mercy. mercy is when we show mercy on a daily basis from God. For example, we sin on a daily basis and God chooses to forgive us. According to his word, when we sin, he can he can annihilate us right then and then. So it's mercy yes, that it he is. doesn't annihilate. It was mercy, love, and a whole bunch of other things too. Do you think God knows what how my life is going to end up? Do you think he knows if hell is in my future? Does he know whether or not I'm going to hell? Well, the Bible tells us this. The Bible tells us um, that if, if, if we come to Christ, we will have eternal life. All right? If we choose to stay away from Christ, we will we will be eternally separated from him. Okay, back to my choice. So when God so 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 if God sees you obviously not in Christ, then there's only one destination for that. But you still, because we're still in time and space, have the opportunity to come to, to, to come to truth. You ain't dead but, yet. But so he would have had prior knowledge. He would have already known what I was gonna do. When he That's called predestination, me, right, Kendall? He knows more about that stuff. When he right. created me, mm -hmm. if in fact my soul is eventually gonna burn in hell, okay. when he created me, he knew that. He knew I would end up burnt for eternity. You could say that, yes. Okay, so where's the mercy? That he gave you time to repent. But he knew I would. But he still gave you time to repent. 
it's kind of like this. It's kind of like um, if yeah. I tell somebody not to run in the middle of the road, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Because you run in the middle of the road, the car's going to hit you and he goes anyway. That's his fault. I ain't got nothing to do with God. And nothing to do with his character. It has nothing to do with who he is. Do you understand what I'm saying? The questions that you're, <laughs> the questions that you're asking, no disrespect or anything. It's, it's designed to like tie a knot and whatnot. Yes, it's not designed to, to make, make you think, think or anything like that. Because God demonstrates His mercy on a daily basis when we sin against Him. All right, okay. when we when we break His law, the fact that we're able to still breathe, we're able to still walk, we're able to do the things that we're able to do uh -huh. shows that that, that 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 God loves us. He's long suffering and and He has patience with us and He's merciful. Okay. All right, when He chooses to forgive us on a daily, on a minute by minute basis, actually, when you think about it, or a second by second basis. But then when I when I end up burning in hell for eternity, that's perfect justice. It is perfect justice you because he gave so? you a choice. He gave you a choice. He said, you know what? You can come to my only begotten son, have your sins forgiven, or you can live the way you want and end up in the lake of fire. It's your choice. For eternity. That's not it. What kind of choice is that? That's the threat. That's not a choice. It's a threat, not a choice? Yes. No, it's not a threat. It's not a threat. If somebody it's holds a, a gun to your head and says, tell me I'm awesome, you have a choice. Tell me I'm awesome or I'm going to shoot your head off. Do you understand the seriousness choice? of sin? Do you understand the choice? seriousness of it? No, when I God finished creating everything, if, if I'm allowed, yeah, can. Well, using your example, someone says to you, "Say I'm awesome, or I'm gonna blow your head off." Yeah. Does that alleviate the fact, even if they're pointing the gun right to your head, does that eliminate your ability to choose? It's not much of a choice, is what I'm saying. But it's you not said a real it, option. It is a real option. It's just the option comes with you, you consequences. What I'm saying? Yes, I am. It's, it's not a real option. But there's option. more to it. There's more to it. As long as you can say yes or no, as long as you can say yes or no, it's an option. The consequences are subject. The way you're looking at it, the way you're looking at it right now, actually, I, I, I can't refute that. But you have to look at the big picture, though. The fact of the matter is God created us perfect. Uh -huh. And I'm going back to Adam and Eve, and I have to do this to defend his character and whatnot. Okay? Uh -huh. God, God made Adam and Eve. God told Adam and Eve they could eat from any tree in the garden. Uh -huh. Long story short, God told them not to eat from this tree, and they did it anyway. But okay? he knew they would. Mm -hmm. He knew they would. He knew they would. In fact, he put that tree there on purpose. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He put it can, there by accident. I can understand how you can come to that conclusion. No, he did not. <laughs> did he put it there by not. accident? He put it there. He put it there to test them. There's a scripture in Deuteronomy. Can you, oh, do you wait, remember wait, where wait. it is? Where where it says it says that um that, that that God will allow certain things to happen to test us to see whether or not we really love Him. To test, I believe right. it's in Deuteronomy where it says that God will allow a false prophet to come to come to you and give you a false prophecy and point to a different God to show you to, to prove you whether or not you love God or not. In other words, if somebody came here and told you. Well, Jesus is not God, and you walked away and said, "You know what? Jesus is God. I'm going to continue to follow Him." And whatnot. that proves you love Him, but without the Man, test, you, you can't never come to that conclusion. You want to get in so on the test this because eventually yeah, I want to get the test for you. I eventually exactly. want to get in on this. That's why. That's why the um. That's why the tree was put there. But here's the big thing, though. Okay. To, to we are all life. full of sin, according to Romans chapter um three. None of us are good. None of us. We all lie. We all well. If, if if a person is told one lie, that makes us a liar. If a person's ever took in something that does not belong to them, that makes them a thief. Mm -hmm. If a person's ever looked at a woman with lust, according to the right, Bible, great comfort, okay. no? Great comfort. <laughs> oh, from way the mask. <laughs> but if uh, if a man should look at a um, at a woman with lust uh -huh. in his heart, uh -huh. that would make him an adulterer at heart, according to according to God's standard. Okay. okay, that's what we're looking at. We're looking so at him in the standard. standard. Is that what you're saying? Impossible standards. It's impossible to do what? Impossible standards. You cannot have a uh, male animal surrounded by women and not look at them with lust. No, we can do it. You we can't. can't. We can't because of our fallen nature. Because oh, of sin. I see. Because of sin. So they ate the fruit and now... And now we're full of sin. And now we're, we got to look at the hot chips. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we ate the fruit and we're all about ourselves and now, we're no longer all about you? God. Does that make sense to you? If, would you, just let me get to the big picture now. <laughs> because of sin now, because of the fact that we can't take our eyes off the hot chick, uh -huh. you know, all the women that's going by and whatnot, we are eternally separated from a holy and just God okay. who created us. Okay? It's, it's, it's kind of like if, if I had some uh, paper and I had some, some glue and I made this book and this book starts telling me what, uh, t telling me when after I made this book how to live and what's right and what's wrong and whatnot. That's kind of like how we are when we go to God and we're like, oh, you know, uh, 
I think I know what's holy. I think I know what's right. I think I know better than you. And that's what you're doing. And that's what we're doing in our rebellion. That's what I was doing before I became a Christian. Uh -huh. All right. And because of that, we're separated from God. Okay. The way God reconciles us to himself is he sent Jesus Christ to this world. Okay. That whoever would put their trust in him, uh -huh. their sins will be forgiven. Okay. The same God that said that if you sin against me, you will be thrown into an eternal lake of fire. It's also the same God that sent the provision for you so that you don't have to go to the lake of fire. Okay? Okay. But Hitler, you think he's in hell or what? Hitler's in Well, if he didn't repent, yes, he's in hell. What if he did repent? If, he's, if he repented, he's in heaven. Six million Jews. Yeah, Are they in hell? Are they in hell? <laughs> if they, if they did not believe Jesus on the Lord Christ, Jesus Christ, they yes, were they Jews, are. Yes. Weren't they? It don't really make a difference. <laughs> a lot of Jews don't believe in Jesus. In fact, it was Jews that wanted him crucified. Exactly. Not all, but many. Yeah. Jews that believe in Jesus are called Christians. What's that? Not no, 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 no. You, you only become Christian when you put your faith in Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. A Jew is somebody that was that was. So, so let's get back to. Well, he said Jews who Germany. believe in Jesus. Let's get back Christ. to Germany. Okay. I'm this sorry. this makes sense to you that Hitler could possibly be in heaven. Six million Jews that he destroyed. Because God forgave him, yes. God is all merciful, remember? He can have. I thought he was he, perfectly just. He is perfectly just. And he's all merciful. And he's a God of justice. And you know what? You think Hitler be is going to have to stand before God. But I can pretty much. I, in my own personal opinion, I'm not speaking for God right now. It's my personal opinion. Yeah. I personally believe Hitler is in hell. Okay. I don't believe he repented. Let me ask you again. He for killed himself. Another one of uh, your opinions. Um, do you think, my opinions? Yeah. Do you, no, just, no. I just want your opinion. Okay. Do you think that eternal. Hell, eternal burning is justice for eternity. Is yes, that a I good do. punishment? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And it took me a long time to, to be able to, uh, to to accept that. But yes. Um, Let me know why. Yeah, go ahead. God lives in eternity, and we don't. These bodies are only temporary. Yeah. God gives us X amount of years to uh, to, uh, to to turn away from our sins and to yeah. come to Him and to be reconciled with him and if but we don't again, do that I go back to knowledge he already knew that I wasn't gonna he already knew that I was going to hell so he can know more about predestination he's punishing me for something that, that I had no choice we're not, we're not even going to get into predestination here but the fact is the fact that God foreknew mm -hmm. did not take away the fact that he gives provision not to do things he just knows the choices that we are going to make with the will that he gave us yeah. he's not making us make that choice he just knows in advance what it is that we're going to do. But we do have to do that. Huh? We do have to make that choice. If he knows we're going to do it, we're going back to that now, I guess. If he knows that I'm going to do it, I have to do it. Because his foreknowledge is based on what's going to happen. Right. But that is withstanding the fact I'm that you have that a choice between do doing it and not doing it. It seems like I have a choice. The movie's already been written. I'm an actor in this movie. Right. All of my lines have already been written by him, apparently, in his book. And everything wait, I say, wait, wait. he but wrote down. But take away free will. That's not true. That's it's not a true. false assumption. Exactly. You disagree with him. It's a false, false assumption. assumption. Yeah. Yes. I'm confused. But explain to him why it's a false assumption. Uh, it's the same as what I just said. God knows giving choices which one we're going to choose but that's not the same as to say that he's going to make us choose one of those choices or the other anything that god wants to do he or anything he wants to be done he gives provision for that to be done but yet he also gives free will to man to choose to do it or choose to reject it for example the garden that you guys talked about right yes god did plant the tree of the knowledge, uh, pardon me, the tree, uh, uh, the tree of the knowledge of good from evil. But what else? What else did he do? He told Adam in advance, "Do not eat from that tree, for in the day that you do, you will surely die, or death you shall die." Uh -huh. So he set him up. Huh? He set him up to fail. No, he didn't. He knew he was going to fail. He knew he was going to eat from the tree. Yes, he did know. He set him up to fail. Did no, he purpose. didn't set him up to fail. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. God didn't set him up to fail because God gave him a, God gave him a choice. Now, do you see how this doesn't make any sense to me? But, well, well the way you're asking those questions, the question doesn't make any sense because it's kind of why doesn't it make hearing. sense? If you could, um, if you could change something. Mm -hmm. if God contacted you and said, "Listen, if you want something changed, let me know and I'll change it." 
in uh, eternity in hell? Would you change that? Would you would you limit the sentence? Would you make it keep it eternity, or would you say I, I don't know, maybe fifty billion years? Because of limited understanding, yes. You would change it. Because of limited understanding, yes. Because I don't live in eternity and I don't know what it's like on that side, except for what's going to reveal in the Word. Okay, so does that mean eternal damnation is not perfect justice? Because you just disagreed with it. You just said, say it again? You just told me you would change eternal damnation. You, right. you would change it from eternity to something else. So right. then you don't agree with the way God did. If you would do it differently, I don't know. No, what it is, I don't understand why, why, I don't understand fully why God would want somebody to burn for all of eternity and 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 and, ha and, and not have them come out like after a certain period of time. Uh -huh. I that can only go by what the Bible all, teaches me. You know, it, 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 when you consider the crime, it makes it makes well, perfect it, it, sense. The crime of what? The not crime believing of, a story? No, the crime of of siding with the devil. See, the oh, devil. Siding with the devil. When, if you well, live in it, sin, it, you are. You are, but it's greater than that. Because what is sin according to the Bible? We're sin all is, living in sin. Sin is breaking God's law. God's law, that's referring to God's word. By God's word, he made the world out of nothing. And made all that is out of nothing. All right. And understand this. God never made hell for the devil. And, I'm sorry. God never made hell for people. Hell was made for the devil and his angels. I believe this is in Matthew 25. Yeah, uh, uh, Verse... Um, I so at what point I, I did God decide that that'd be a good place to send people? When he when, when he made it for the devil and his angels. Here's the thing. And he said, "Oh, I like this. I think I'll send some people down there." That's no, funny. no. This is what happened. We rebelled against God. See, here's the thing. Once you understand that you're a sinner, uh -huh. once you understand that you're not a good person, once you understand that you have rebelled against God, God gives you an opportunity to make a choice. Whether or not you want to accept His provision for <coughs> forgiveness, or whether or not you want to continue to live your life the way you want to live it. Okay. It makes sense when you say, you know what, God? Thanks, but no thanks. I think I know better than Listen, you, and I'm going to live my life the way I'd I want. I'd be living my life the same way. No, you Except, wouldn't. Yes, I would. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. You I would did. be born again. You would be a different person. Oh, I was born again. And then I woke up. You was born again, then you yeah, woke up? when I moved to Texas. Okay, so... Can, can, and you know what I did? You, I started reading the could Bible. You, could you explain what you mean by you was born again for me? Uh, I had a guy put his hand on my head. The guy who gave me this Bible, in fact. Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. His hand on my head, saved me in front of Jesus. I felt it. Really? And then I took this Bible that he gave me and I read it. Because I was brand new to Texas. What kind of so church? Didn't what to, kind of church did you get saved in? I didn't want to. Uh, I don't even know. I don't know what his. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of question. My, my there friend, are false converts. Do they you are understand false converts. what it means to be born again? What I, what, I, what I understand is I felt it. And then I read the book. And what did you away. feel? I felt the presence of Jesus. Okay, okay. How do you know it was the presence of Jesus in your film? I have no idea. How do you know? Because he's produced in me agreement with the word of truth. That would it, That's what it means to be born again. To be born of the word of truth. So out of being born of the truth, there's said, an agreement on the inside of you with the truth. With here, God's here's the problem with... with what I'm hearing you say, you said a man put his hand, he put, he put a hand, his hand on your head, yeah, he prayed. and you felt an experience. We prayed. We prayed. And, and you he prayed. prayed with, yeah. Okay. Jesus I, I don't said. Even want to talk about that. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. But 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 you do understand in order to be a, a believer, you have to actually believe what this says. Oh yeah. That's why I read it. And then you said you read it, and then you lost it. faith. Have you read this thing? I read it from front to back. Yes. Yes, I have. Um. Jesus said so, in John. So. In, the, he said in John chapter three. That, that that those who believe are not condemned, but those who believe not are condemned already because they have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. So if it's true that you came to Christ and you believed on Him, uh -huh. okay, uh -huh. then at one point you were no longer in condemnation. If you're saying you read this and you had some misunderstandings in here and whatnot, and then you chose not to believe no more, mm -hmm. you can't blame God for that. You have to blame yourself. I can't blame God for anything. Cause you, you're, um, you're you're saying by reading this that 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 by, that by reading this that you, you you're saying that that, that God doesn't exist so, because you read this. Yeah. What did you read in this that makes you think that God don't exist? Um, the part between this page here and this page here. Just give me <laughs> give me any example, any example besides this well, page here and this in, page here. That's quite opinion. a lot of reasons. <laughs> in, yeah. in, in your opinion, <laughs> thousands um, of pages. <laughs> why didn't Thomas believe that Jesus was res resurrected? Want that one can do you want me to get that well you try it first you want me to get it yeah. thomas didn't believe because thomas because thomas had a lack of faith 
Thomas had a lack of faith. He had a lack of faith. Yes. He saw what Jesus could do. Yes, he, he saw did. Jesus bring back people back from the dead. Exactly. And he, he saw Jesus doubted. kill. And he wasn't tree the only for no one. Damn reason at all. So he saw these things. <laughs> he saw these things mm -hmm. with his own eyes. He saw right. Personally, his right. friend did these things. Right. And then when the other guy said, "Oh, by the way, JC is bad." He goes, you know what, I don't think I'm going to believe that. Until I see him, until I put my fingers in the holes, I'm not going to believe that. Why is it okay for him to say that? It's not okay for me. I've never gonna, seen Jesus. I'm going to explain it. But before I do that, who else saw Jesus do the miracles and whatnot? According to this, a few people. A few people? Yeah. It was quite a few people. A whole nation, almost a whole nation saw him do it. A lot of Jews, the religious leaders, uh, saw him do uh, a few miracles, uh -huh. right? Um, his disciples saw him do it, right? Sure. And yet they didn't believe. In fact, all of them, I believe except one, I think John. Some him, wait. They all, um, <laughs> they all deserted, they all deserted Jesus, except John, I believe. Peter, Peter denied him three times. But this is before they truly believed in him. If you look in the book of Acts, what happened when they actually put their trust and their faith in him, and, they, and, and, and on the day of Pentecost, and the Holy Spirit came to live inside of them, they became different people. My, my question is, why do you think they didn't believe when they were, they experienced it firsthand, but I'm supposed to believe based on nothing but this? Well, actually, you have more than just this. According what, to Romans chapter that? one, you have creation, and you have your that's conscience. That's God wrote his law on your heart. In fact, he did. God, God didn't just write it on your heart. He wrote, he wrote it on many of the laws that we have in the land here today. Okay. If you, for example, lie in the courtroom, you, you, you can go to jail for that. If you, uh, uh, I don't know what all the laws about committing adultery is, but I tell you one thing, you commit adultery in this country, 70% of your income is gone. A woman gets all of it, you know, well, most of it. Most of it. Uh, if, you, if you kill somebody, you can get the death penalty. Okay. You those those laws saying? came from God. They didn't exist before. A lot of our laws came it? from the Ten Commandments. It came from God. Yes. Yeah. And it's not and just they, in this country. That stuff didn't it's in all these other countries out here too. Well, that stuff did not exist before Moses wrote it down. Excuse me. That stuff did not exist. Yes, they did. They were written but on before, man's heart. They were written on man's heart. Oh, I see. So what did Moses write? Before, before why did we need this in writing? If we already well, know. it's not for us. When God, when God originally made that law, He made it for the Jewish people. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? And the proof, and the proof that this existed before, uh, be, be, before Moses got his hand on it. Look at Sodom and Gomorrah, and look at, and look at uh, the the, the flood. Uh -huh. Men's men's mind was on, evil continually, and God. Yes, I do. You believe the flood. There's proof for it. My friend right here did a uh, did a, 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 a pretty deep study on it recently okay. about the strata layers uh, in the ground and whatnot that that proves that the um that, so that the flood actually happened. So you're a geologist? Happened. No, I'm not a geologist. You're not a geologist. Uh, but he did he did do a little study on it. I'm not that. I'm not all that. Uh, I'm not all that read up on. Uh, I'm not either. On the, uh, the but if I did want to learn flood. about geology, I would go to a geologist. Of course, I would do the same thing. So I wouldn't. I, okay. I don't go to this to learn anything about science or the geology. I go to this to learn about the guy who created me and about myself uh -huh. and about the world that's around me. That's what this is for, mm -hmm. and to let me know what's going to happen in the future. And believe me, everything that this says is going to happen in the future is going to happen. For example, the catch of society, the future world dictator. Uh, a one world religion and trust me there will be a one world religion and and i'm going to say something very bold right now but on this edition of preaching to the choir ministries not all of you atheists but many of you are going to worship the one world dictator and do you want to know why you're going to worship the one world dictator because if you don't they're going to kill you and and and, and it's in revelation 13 it says that he causes it all to it receive correct. and it's not me this is predicted in the bible the bible says that <coughs> That, that, that this false prophet is going to cause the whole world to uh, to worship the first beast, the Antichrist. All right? The man that the Illuminati is looking for right now. Okay? The Bible says that this very chip that they're talking about is going to be in your right hand, it's going to be in your forehead, and you will not be able to buy or sell unless you have it. Okay? It's going to establish a one world religion according to Revelation chapter 17. Okay? And if you don't worship this beast, it's, it's death by beheading and for those of you who know what I'm talking about in those FEMA camps where 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 they have all these guillotines nailed and all those FEMA coffins okay those are for people who do not who choose who choose not to worship this uh, future dictator that's coming over now and he's coming and atheists many atheists are gonna do it trust me atheists are gonna do it the Bible says it's gonna happen if you want to be able to buy or sell, you're going to have to get that microchip in your right hand and your forehead. See, it's one thing to talk about what you're not going to do until they put a gun to your head. I need to smoke. No, get a smoke a cigarette. I can't smoke here. Yes, you can. It won't bother me. Oh. Those guys. <laughs> the part. 
All right, so uh, basically, you want to wrap this up or what? I'm just telling you. I thought it was going to be an hour to be. An hour? Who said that? We haven't been talking for an hour. Uh, I don't know if anybody said an hour. I'm talking listen, for an hour. This is the thing that, that I want to um, that I want to bring home. And that's the fact that God exists. We mm -hmm. are made in his image. Um, there is no alternate explanation on why we're here. Okay? The Big Bang has got more holes in it than Swiss cheese. And so does evolution. Can you prove any of okay. this without using that? Can I prove that God exists without this? Yes, I'm here. I'm made in the image of God. That tree was not made by accident. That's too complex. It's too complex. And no one can destroy something and get something this complex. You can't do it. Something can't be something can't be destroyed in order to make something like this. The Big Bang said that, 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 that uh, gas or energy or matter got together or hydrogen got together and it just blew up and it created all this. Nothing can just blow up and create something like this. How do you know? How do I know? Uh, well, when, typically when something is blown up, it's a destructive force. When have you seen something explode but you and life result from it? We're talking about here. It's not just like one bed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but scientifically, oh. when have you ever seen a scientist uh, actually um, reproduce what the Big Bang did in just a small, tiny way? One of the jokes I make on my show That's sometimes is, is ignorance, so well, can't. when have you ever seen? You don't know how to do it. When have you ever seen God. something just, that's that exists that. come from nothing? God in there. That there's something you don't know. <laughs> no, it isn't. No, yeah. it isn't. It's not God it in the gas. If I had a glass of water right here and I knocked it over by accident, you think life is gonna come from it? It might. It might. No. I've done it several times and I haven't seen life come yet. The most I've seen is mold, and that's if the water doesn't completely evaporate. Mold isn't life. Hmm? Mold isn't life. Mold isn't life, but it's coming from other things, though, too. You gotta remember, Big Bang also claims that nothing was there and it just went boom. Right, let, me, let, let me ask you a question Where'd that tree come from? From uh, another tree <laughs> who dropped the seed in the ground. But where did yeah, that tree from come the sea. from? Where did the well, seed come from? A tree? Where did the tree come okay. from? A seed? But where did all of it begin? Where did they come it's from? It's a continuum. Because you can continue to ask that question for billions of years. But there the must be a beginning. Okay, you say God you created it this, created God. Hmm? Who created God? Oh, God's eternal. He always was. Come on, don't you know that? Come on, dude. God's <laughs> eternal and he always was. Hmm? He What's always not was. to be believed? Before, what do you mean? Everything. Well, think about it. The Big Bang says uh, uh, pre, pre atomic structure and all things that, that we can see here are atomic. But before that, the universe existed in what is it? Extremely. A, a heated and extremely dense state. Okay, okay, no atomic structure. What was that beforehand? Yeah, what 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 was that Before heated and bang, dense state? Yeah, that that led to the Big Bang. What was that heated and dense state? And what caused that? Well, if so, nobody knows so, the answer to that question, how can you automatically dismiss God? You have to have all knowledge in order to say that he don't exist. I don't automatically dismiss God. So you admit that exist. there's a possibility that God yeah, could exist. I don't believe this God exists. And what's your... What, what, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. I like to get that again. What did you just say? You said God could exist? I I can't prove that he doesn't. No, you I just you turned can't the head. No, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Give me a bit back on me. Yes. Um, what is this about though? Before I even say something, we're debating whether or not God exists, and we're gonna put this oh, on he YouTube. Does. Yes, he does. he does. Yeah, my name is Charlton. I don't know mm -hmm. if you guys. Well, I don't think you guys know me or anything like that. But um, the thing that happened with me, I had an experience, and that's what everybody keep telling. Like if, like if somebody believes in God, that's what you're supposed to tell people. Is, is your experience with God? Exactly. Yeah, everybody will meet God in a different way. Right. With me, I was just going to church. I thought everything was okay. I had my wife at the time. I'm divorced right now. I had my wife. But all I did, I was just sitting in church. And I just heard God speaking to me and I just started crying. And I got up and went to the front. And I spoke to the pastor. When I came to, um, I was upstate. So when I came to the Bronx, my brother invited me to his church and I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. I was in my mother's room living in the basement and the Holy Spirit came to me. The Holy Spirit is God. And I learned, amen, amen. I didn't know nothing. I'm telling you, I didn't know nothing. God allowed me, God spoke to me and, you know, draw me in so I can have a relationship with him. And then afterwards, after, I went to Naya College. I never even heard of Naya College. It's a Christian college. Right. 
And from that, I learned biblical teaching, scriptures, everything. But I didn't yeah. know. Until he revealed himself to me, I didn't know. Right. So it's God's fault I don't believe in him. No, that's no, not no, no. God's fault. Some, sometimes it's just too. where you're because at. Unbelief. Sometimes it's where you're at in life. Like sometimes your belief system or your unbelief. family, yes. what, what you're around. That's what it's about sometimes. Like me, I was around well, Christians. So it's like I'm in that, you know, in that environment. Right. So I grew up learning. I grew up hearing about it and everything. I learned. I heard about even um, prehistoric people, mm -hmm. um, creation, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, everything was all mixed up. I didn't believe. I didn't have like, okay, I believe God. I don't believe God. I didn't know nothing. Right. Right. <laughs> but it's until right. like he, like I said, he revealed himself. And the thing that happened to me, I met this prophet, oh, and uh, it's like the Holy Spirit grew me to the prophet, and I didn't even know. Mm -hmm. And he said, look. Mm -hmm. This is my proof. Nobody will believe me. This is rose gold with diamonds. And the prophet gave it to me. <laughs> well, okay. Chelsea, thank, thank you very much for your time. But um, what I think- He's real, they, that's they, all I gotta tell you, he's real. Okay. There is something I'd like to get back to before. Uh, it's real. Uh, well, thank you for that so story. So you guys have a good day. You too, sir. Thank, thank you, thank, thank you again. Thank you, thank you. There's something that you said earlier that uh, I believe in him and his prophet. That, uh, I believe uh, the testimony. I believe the testimony. That strikes me more than uh, anything else. You held to your uh, position that God set Adam up to fall. Yeah. In the, why, 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 why is it that you uh, believe that God set him up to fall? Because God knew what he would do. Okay. God also knew that he would give him an option. He would. God knew. And he knew which option he, he would pick. Right, but that is not. So he was that, predestined that, to eat from the tree. I, this is we're talking around in circles. If he knows what's going to happen, it doesn't matter whether or not I know what's going to happen. He knows it. I'm on a path. He already wrote it. I have nothing. It seems like I'm making no, choices, but, but I'm not. But you're you're confusing the foreknowledge of God. Foreknowledge with, of God. With with with, with having predetermined someone to do something. The two are not synonymous. That's that that's my whole point. The two are not synonymous. All right, so I could because God the man the man on a daily basis. the I man the man that knew. He didn't know I would do. No, God I, knows, but He also knows Jesus. that you have the ability to choose not to do. But He knows I'm not gonna. So really, the issue is about man's refusal to take personal responsibility no, no, for his choices. No, the issue is about if this God exists, right. he knows everything that's going to happen. And he purposely does it anyway. He's responsible for creating and burning for eternity every single soul that ends up in heaven. He knew it was going to happen, and he's responsible for it. That's not loving. That's disgusting. Okay, so let me ask well, you a question. Do you believe that God's responsible? No. For, uh, I don't for me lying for anything. For me lying God five minutes from now. God's not responsible for anything. He's not. No, no, no. I'm not no, no. responsible. I'm asking for you a question. If <laughs> I should lie you. right now to this person over there, am I? Should God be? Should God be held responsible if I lie to your friend right here right now, or if I lie to you, or if I lie to you, her, or I lie to anybody that? else? I don't believe God exists. No, I understand that. I understand it. Yeah. But 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 God's character is is, is in question here. Okay. And a part of His character that's in question is whether or not God's responsible. Well, it, whether or not it's God's fault that somebody gets thrown into the fire. It can't be his fault. So he's not responsible. You're right. Because we have free will. Because he, he doesn't exist. He doesn't exist. He doesn't exist. You can't prove that he exists. And the very fact that you can't prove that he doesn't exist. The, the very fact that you can't prove that he does not exist would make you... Actually, if you think about it, it would make him God. Because he would be all-knowing. Oh, man. You would have to be in all, you, you have to be in all places if you, if you think about it. You would actually have to be God yourself. Dude. You would become all-knowing if... If you can say for sure that God does not exist, because that means but you're in outer space, you're over there, you're in, you're you're in Texas, oh, you're God. you're just everywhere at one Look, time. Okay. The only person okay. that can do that is let God. Let me. I apologize. I yes. misspoke. I do not believe that God exists. Okay. But He does. He does exist. Yeah, I, and is he, that and, better? And, and, I do not believe it. I don't believe He exists. I don't believe He's real. But if you did believe, better? if you did believe, if I think I we can what? clearly see that. You would believe that this God, if he does exist, is a bad moral this character. This God, by your own attributes, and that's very good to just say. Because that, because this whole themselves. argument has been that that God has got that, that God has been a, a bad moral character. What's the contradiction? Character. What's the contradiction? Did yeah. you catch what he just said? Hey man, hold on. 
What, what, what's the, the contradiction? Loving and hell. Those contradict each other. Mercy and justice. He can't be all merciful. He can't hell be doesn't merciful. contradict just. God's love. Here, what, why do why do people go to hell? Because they sin. But despite the fact that they sin, God made a way of free will redemption. Contradict each other. No, they don't. <laughs> Here's why they don't contradict each other. Because within the scope of God's knowledge, uh -huh. God has knowledge of all the choices that yeah. you can make. Right. That's, you know, well, and within that this. knowledge is a freedom of will for in. mankind. But you, okay, but you made a comment earlier. Yes, in, sir. A couple minutes ago, you said that, that, and matter of fact, he made the comment. And then I think you agree, because I know I agree, that at bare minimum, you, even though you say you, that you don't agree with it, with the God of the Bible, you're saying that, um, or, or at least you agree to that, that God is of a, of a bad moral character, you said? I think that, I said he was That you asshole. don't, okay. Bluntly, okay. But he, oh, but, disgusting is what I said. Okay, disgusting. disgusting. He's a yeah. butthole, and, and yeah. what else you said? Uh, that's that right. he was a bad moral character. All right. Here's the thing. I believe that you have a misunderstanding about God, and I believe the reason why you have a misunderstanding about God is because some of these questions that you're asking yourself. Well, you know, uh, if God is so, if, if, if God is so merciful, then, then then why does He create a lake of fire? If God is so loving. Why does He um? That doesn't allow... make sense to you. That's not a good question to you. Oh, well, I put it to you no. this way. I put it's it this not. way. Do you have kids? Well, he he no. never, he you never, let, he never let no, me finish. Why it's not? Why it's not? Okay, so go ahead. Why go it's ahead. not contradictory? <coughs> go ahead. Because God made a way of redemption. But he knew. But him knowing <laughs> oh that God, God. for knowing does not Holy eliminate crap. free will. Thank you. <laughs> that's that, that's my whole point. Him for knowing does not eliminate free will. Okay. He knows. Right, he foreknows what wow. we free. No, he. <laughs> all it took. He foreknows what he. What we no, will no, freely choose I, I, to do. No, no, no. No, no. For example. Come on, dude. Yeah, if, if somehow you, you, can't, you can't look. If somehow I would. If somehow I can tell you. Oh man. If you go down this block and step out in the street, you're gonna get hit by a car. Don't go down there. Yeah. But you choose to go down there anyway, just because. You want to, or someone told else that it's a good idea. Is that my fault? Am I somehow wrong? You chose to go down there. Right. I told right. you don't do it. You're right. You're right. But you wanted to do it. You're right. But well, my question is, is how can it. you blame God for that? Though? I'm not blaming God for anything. Well, again, if God Actually, exists. Technically, you are if you're saying that it's God's fault. Okay, God created hell. God created hell for disobedient people. We have a choice whether or not we want to be obedient to God or whether or not we want to not or not be obedient to God. Okay? If we choose to lie, cheat, steal, commit adultery, and all those other sins and whatnot, then that's on us. Right. And if we choose to and do that, God's eternal punishment damnation. is an eternal hell. Do I it's agree perfect. with whether or not oh, oh. we should be in there for all of eternity and whatnot? Uh, you know. Well, you know, in, in living in time and space, you know, I can disagree with God with that, but you know what? The fact of the matter is. Hell still exists in this world of eternity. And it's for those people out there now, who choose not to be obedient to the word of God, now, to I'll, God's rules. I'll vary from him slightly. I'll say, I'll step out as far as to say, yes, eternal damnation is perfectly just. Okay, Here, that's insane. Here's why. Here's yeah. why it's perfectly just. Because when we sin, when we break God's law, we are doing eternal damage if left to ourselves. Right. What? We are doing eternal damage <laughs> left to ourselves. Yeah. Because think about what happened when uh uh if one is to take the Bible seriously, let's say for the sake of conversation it is true. Think about what happened let's when say that for the sake of conversation. Mm. Let's say uh when Adam fell, what happened when he disobeyed? It says uh suddenly his and his wife, their eyes were open. They huh? suddenly became shamed of each other's nakedness. Yep. They went and made coverings for themselves, hiding from one another. Yet they knew the coverings that they made was not suitable to hide from God. So when they heard the voice of the Lord coming, there was damage done. The, did, imi did the image the that God, and the character that God gave them, it, it changed after they fell. Did the God only know the way. Difference? Hold on, one. Did, hold did on. God know the difference. I, I, right never, I never, fini I never finished my point. Okay, finish your point. You're very long winded. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, finish it. Go ahead. 
damage, the damage, the damage, the damage, the damage that they did would remain, except God made a way of redemption. So what I'm saying is the sin is an eternal sin. You've done eternal damage to what God made. Right. That's why the punishment would be forever. Unless God intervened, and that's what salvation through Jesus Christ represents. And when we God's die, we go to eternity. We, we're no longer in time and space. So that could be another explanation on why he chooses to uh, the burn, the burn people forever. What were you, you going to say? I mean? But there's a difference between disagreeing with, with, with the way God's order is and whether or not he actually exists. There's a big difference. And I think with most atheists, they, they just disagree with, with, with God's character. And now, what I'm about to say right now is my opinion right now. I like to say this, this is my opinion, what I'm about to say right now. All right, I'm not trying to be dishonest or nothing like this. this is, I personally believe the atheists are hiding behind atheism because they disagree with God's moral character. They don't agree with an eternal hell. They don't agree with all these rules and regulations that, 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 that God um, expresses through the prophets and through Jesus Christ and, and, and through Christians. Can That's just my personal point of view. As an atheist? Yes. I don't believe in God because none of this makes sense. That's why. I'm not hiding behind God. It just doesn't make sense. A God that would create a universe and be so petty that if I didn't worship him, he's going to burn me for eternity? Makes no sense. That's why he created you. Makes no sense. That's why he created you. So God created for us. Eternity. God created us to worship Him and to enjoy Him. That's that's the lamest thing I ever heard. Maybe, but it's the truth, though. Well, due respect, sir. I don't believe you, it. You're not the creator. I can't believe it. It's so, so you damn can't silly. Compare. It doesn't make any sense. You have but nothing that's, of that's yourself why I don't to believe compare it. To. But it's the truth, though. All but right. Listen to what you just said. Go ahead. If we don't worship Him, yeah. Right. If we don't worship Him, He throws you into hell. Yeah. Right. Now, right? What are you and disagreeing with? Childish. Are you disagreeing? Are you disagreeing with his with 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 his existence or with an, or, or his moral character? No, no, no. It goes back to his moral uh, character. Not. That's all atheists ever attack is his moral character. They, they 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 spend. As a matter of fact, I have it right here. Hold up. It's, I think I have it in my bag. I have 101 contradictions. In my bag well, here. While, he, while he's looking for that, yeah. God said, and this is the testimony of that God of the Bible. Said he made man. For his own purpose and for his good pleasure. Right. If for his that, own good pleasure. Right. Right. And, well, and if well, I don't he, pleasure him, he's going to burn me for well, eternity. That makes well, let, sense let me in ask your you, head. If, uh, if that is true, that he made man for his own good pleasure and for his own purpose, right. if man refuses to serve that purpose, what do you think should be done with him? What do I think should be done? Well, what do you, what do you think is just? I, I guess eternal damnation. Yeah, it sounds good. That sounds about right. No, honestly, what do you, what would you what would you recommend? Uh, the whole the, the whole story doesn't make any sense. To me. Well, and keep in mind we we can't think about this if God is. Are you asking me what do I think is a, is a good punishment for not worshiping the well, thing what, that created what, what me? Would you, what is a what good would punishment? What would you do if you were God? What, if, what would I do if I were God? I wouldn't be such an asshole. Once again, he's disagreeing with the moral character of God, and not. You know the actual existence of him. You well, really disagree. I already, with already, already, already explained that the attributes well, what, that you've given him cannot exist in the same being. They can't because they, they can. contradict yes, each other. You have it in you. But, but you, you think about it. You, you have just it in don't you. see the lack of contradiction. You have it in you. You just don't see the. Because you and I have this in common, <coughs> amongst I'm sure other things, uh, being so male. We're, 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 we're both humans. Circle, and I need a smoke. Well, can we pause and uh, yeah, so you have a? Yeah. All right. So you want me to cut this off and then I? Sure. All right.